pick up and place my feet down in a controlled manner. Good, 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 good. For us, the thing is, is making sure our guys are taking care of their bodies in terms of getting proper rest, eating meals, hydrating themselves, and stretching. So we're putting the emphasis on that. Our guys are doing a good job. And coming out of summer, we made it through without any pulled muscles, which is big. But obviously, with the heat, as it continues to get hotter, um, we just got to continue to do the smart things in terms of proper hydration. You're coming in after your first season, and a plethora of really young talent, some of the best young talent I've seen in this county in, in quite a while. And those kids proved it with the numbers, finishing in the top 10 a lot in a lot of categories in the county. Talk about the, the players, their physical ability, but also the confidence they're showing as freshmen and how that momentum of short downtime really could be a positive impact for the fall. The great thing about that group is they all have energy and they're excited. Um, they came, the, the guys that had so much success, and the reason why we had some of the success that we did is they came out in the summer in July when we could last year and worked, and those same guys have been here stewards all summer long. And what's even exciting is our ninth grade class that came in have been even bigger numbers, and they've even been more consistent. So um, I'm excited about what that looks like, but I'm also excited about what those upperclassmen, um, the Will Gewins, the Rowan Starnes, um, and some of those guys that have been great leaders for us. Um, Jacob Evans didn't get to hardly play for us last year. We have him back healthy, and he's been phenomenal. And so I think we're going to have some good key plugs that are fitting in that help you know continue to bridge that energy and that gap a little bit. But those young guys that you know that that helped put us out there last year. They're back, they're only better, and they're still excited and have the same energy. So I'm excited to see what it looks like heading into this season. And I just want to talk about two players, particularly one, Caden Smith. Saw the kid in middle school, plays with a ton of passion, hard on his sleeve, and he has the athletic prowess to back it up on both sides of the ball. And to finish third in county, all uh, total tackles. It's saying a lot for a freshman player. Talk about the player you have in Caden Smith. He's relentless, has a great motor, and he has a high football IQ. Um, you put those things together, it naturally breeds success. Um, if you come out on a practice field and watch us practice, you're going to hear his energy. You're going to see him move him. You're going to see him coaching others up. And he was doing that as a ninth grader. And you know he's only gotten more comfortable in his skin. Um, as a 10th grader, he's never really lacked confidence, but now that he you know, has a little bit of merit to him, you know, my challenge for him is just how do you handle that? Because you've got some of that going, but how do you handle that? But I mean, along with him, and then we got some kids that are gonna come out that are in his class, like Jaquavius Smith, you know, Dakota we've talked about, um, Christian Washington. I've got some other guys that have really seen what he did and they've kind of catapulted off his energy and his work and they're just like, you know, I can do this too. So I'm excited to see how those guys plug in as well. And then Jordan Bennett, another kid, freshman mm -hmm. running back. Uh, you plug him in, this kid's top 10 in all three categories in rushing, 6.2 yards per carry. Um, not easy feat for a freshman to be in the top ranking. It says a lot about his talent, but also the talent that you had at the offensive line and right. re returning two of those guys. Talk about him and that line work and how important that is for this team. They developed great chemistry through the course of the season in the spring, and that's what was huge for us, where we had to rely a little bit on the run because we were injured a, a lot throughout the season. Um, but Jordan did a good job of understanding protection. He's not a guy, a guy that's afraid to step up in there as a ninth grader and take on the blitz. But then when you hand on the ball, what you'll see is he has good vision, but he has really good balance. And he made a couple of plays where, you know, you kind of give up, think he's going to fall to the ground, but he just seems to find a way to stand on his feet and keep on going. And I think a year stronger in the weight room, and he's gotten a lot faster because he ran track, which is going to play huge dividends for him. So I think, you know, with him and the development of our offensive line and them just, you know, again, Will Starnes, and Rowan Gewen, I'm going to say, excuse me, Rowan Starnes and Will Gewen, those guys having a full understanding of what we're trying to accomplish and leading those group of younger guys that we will plug in. We're excited about what they look like up front. Now, Coach, you come in here with a different task. I mean, obviously, this, this program has struggled over the years. You have really set a different mentality in trying to push this program into a different direction. Um, how do you roll all the positive stuff that we've seen here in the spring? over the summer into a good season in the fall and what are you looking for out of this team as you continue to build the legacy as you mentioned earlier of this program 
Uh, the, the key point for me, and you know, it's exciting to get guys back that we haven't had that didn't play. Uh, Gabe Crowder is going to be a great kid that didn't play for me last year. Um, that's worked hard to get to back where he is. Um, having someone like him, having an older guy like Jaden McDougal who's done a really good, good job leading the offense, and I'm expecting him to have a strong season in leading that group. But just getting all those guys back and having the increased numbers, um, as I was saying, telling someone the other day, is our numbers last year through July, we averaged about 25 or so coming pretty steadily. We've been up in the 40s to 50s, and so that's exciting. I think our older guys see that, and it's just like Forest Hills is coming back. Um, for us, you know, we're going to take it one game at a time, and my, my motto is always get better each and every week and every time out. We had a tough schedule last year. It's going to be challenging this year. But can we come out and be our best and play our best week one, and then can we get better from there week two, three, four, and, and so forth and so on.